Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is 9.56 AST on June 17th. Once again, we witnessed how magical the price is because when we came to the markets in Alpha Wave Traders Club, in our graduates' room, we discussed how marvelous is this to be in a trading room when price reaches the end of the minor trend. This is where we had taken long from. We're here currently at four points, no, three points, four points in profit. I'm expecting pullback to the downside on S&P at any moment. And this is exactly why I'm inspired to do Alpha Wave Traders Boot Camp starting July 28th while I'll be trading only with our students and with our graduates. When we see powerful formations, we trade. When we see worthless formations, like oil this morning being way overextended, our knowledgeable students know better. Walk away. There is no meaning here. That's been the story on oil, as oil had been notorious staging very powerful formations pre-market. So S&P traders enjoying powerful formations and knowledgeable oil traders should respect the fact when bullish rally is overextended and giving you flappuccino, you walk away and you go get cappuccino. And that's oil this morning. This been the rally on oil that set up once again in overnight markets. Oil is exhausted until it will give me powerful push to the downside. I ain't touching oil. I know better not to buy in the middle of the trend, as rules remain the key, oil in complete coma, reminding you know when not to trade and enjoy the powerful rally when price meets your rules at the end of the minor trend. It is that simple. So I could not be more excited to trade only with students and graduates as of July 28th. Trading room will be closed indefinitely. As we learned, as a knowledgeable trader, babysitting corrections does not work. And that's precisely the reason why we're moving forward, trading only powerful structure and walking away from computer when market gives you flop, which is currently the case on oil. So marvelous second trade of the week on S&P, yesterday seven points, and here we are four points later. And what are you witnessing? Push to the downside. I'm protecting my profits with trail. Price is magic. This is the end of the minor trend on S&P daily. This is where S&P finding sellers each and every time. Will S&P finally succeed today and blast through this level? That remains the most important level in this market structure. S&P daily respecting this level Second day in a row, exact same level where S&P hourly found the buyers from. And that's the magic of the price, confirming that nothing in this world is random. If S&P can blast through this level, we will have spectacular rally, but that remains to be seen. And this is my wave expansion, the price is struggling at 4 points later. Trail Closer 1929 Here's the magic of the puzzle as price sitting very very pretty on our wave expansion four points later as you could see my next level 1933.50 Here is oil 40 minutes after the market opened as we knew not to acquire Long position reminding you know when not to trade. Oil still stuck in bearish correction. Will it give us sharp bearish push to the downside? Or will it still continue dancing in the worthless correction? That remains the key. So far, only correction. Buyers are tired, but sellers are worthless. And that's what price telling me clearly. So to the tick price came to reversal zone and taking a pause. Isn't that marvelous? 
and oil stuck in correction as we knew it would. So I highly encourage you oil traders walk away if you still haven't. Bullish rally way overextended. Nothing good happening on oil. Come back in 40 minutes. You just saved yourself hour and a half of babysitting if you listen to me. Because price tells me everything I need to know. And magic happens if you remove all the indicators and pay attention to price. Reversal zone reached on S&P. Seven points later. I'm adjusting my trail very, very closely because if you remember, reversal zone 5 range correlates with S&P end of minor trend to the upside daily level. I expect sellers push down. I may actually be taking short. To the tick my trail had been reached, I'm expecting serious selling pressure to the downside. You just witnessed the magic of the price once again. If you know where reversal zone is, you know where to expect selling pressure. It doesn't matter what time frame, it doesn't matter what instrument. Another 7 points on S&P, happy Tuesday. Just respect where the end of the minor trend is know what not to enter into and if rules are obeyed take a trade that's been the case on S&P second day in a row and if you prayed by the rules yesterday after the close of the trading room you had another long that went on for many points and that's the magic of the price that keeps repeating its dance on multiple time frames exact same sequence doesn't matter if it's S&P hourly doesn't matter if it's S&P daily. All S&P has to do is blast through this level. All the levels drawn since March on S&P daily. You know all the levels far in advance. Just like you know, oil is doing nada. Zero zelch. Until oil will find serious selling pressure, oil is not tradable. Have a beautiful day, everybody.